this new vlog so I wanted to share with you some updates of the kingdom and to share with you a bit what I'm working on these days. So I'm right now working on the new Christmas workshop which will arrive later in November. I'm also completing and finishing this little white rabbit which belonged to my Alice in Wonderland series which I started and did this summer. So all the Christmas workshops have reopened. So there is the Christmas paper lights, Christmas candy, Christmas old fairy tale and the Nutcracker. So all of those workshops are open right now and you can find them in bundles or on their own if you are interested. We have some Skype starting in November till mid-December for those who are interested in sharing what they have done, talking to each other and having something nice together and very friendly. So all this is open. You can uh, have all the details on my website, workshop website, learnthemagicofpaper.com if you are interested. Hope to see you there if you are interested. It's, you have plenty of time now to do your decor till December so it's just the right moment to jump and of course I will keep you updated with my new Christmas workshop coming a little later in November. white rabbit of my series I started this summer I wasn't sure if I would continue other characters I worked on Alice so many times that I'm not really sure I'm going to do other characters this year after this one so this one is going to be for sure um, finished in a few days I wanted to have him finished maybe at the end of the week or next week I'm not really sure it's going to depend uh, how I also make progress on the Christmas workshop so um, but it's going to be finished. I'm, as I say, I'm not sure I'm going to do others. It will depend. I will have other things uh, in my shop in December. For now, I really need to finish the Christmas workshop, finish this one, and then I will see which story I want to explore. So for now, I'm going to finish him properly with beautiful details, beautiful finishes. But you will see this one very soon, and uh, which I will um, let you know on the blog and a bit, a bit everywhere a few days before he is ready to uh, be added in the shop.
And I also wanted to thank all the persons who sent me some kind messages and nice comments after seeing part two of my historical series. I thank you very much because I know this sort of project, this sort of videos are not for everyone. I totally get it. It can be very, very boring for those who are not interested in history, art history, who struggle with subtitles. For those who uh, took the time to watch it and were happy with what they saw and enjoyed it, I thank you very, very much because it's just very encouraging uh, for me. It's just a mountain of work. I don't make any money with a project like that at all. I just did it in my free time, if you will, which was, well, in every minute I had, I could invest on this project since May, but I started on the series last fall. And hopefully I will have finished probably uh, at the end of the winter the entire series. But for those who are interested, I hope you will enjoy what's coming. I will complete my series totally regardless of who liked it or who didn't like it. I'm, I'm fine with that because I know you can't please everyone. I don't have super classic taste in the things I like. I could have chosen a super famous uh, character like Marie Antoinette as I had the suggestion, but as I say, I'm not interested to spend so much time, so much work on a character I just don't like for free on top of it. I really know it's not going to happen. I just prefer working on something I'm interested in, which is not super famous, and I can bring something a bit new to, to you and to those who would be interested. And working on a project like that, which mixes uh, art history, history, um, creating the calls, characters, a story, research, doing subtitles too. Well, all these things, it's all the things I like and uh, I've always liked. So I've studied art history in university. During these same years, I was um, taking part to several projects in the theatre world for free. I wasn't paid, but I did some costume and pieces of decors for different projects for professional companies, but I wasn't paid. And so I enjoy this world. I chose not to work professionally in this world because I didn't like very much to work with, to work with other people. But now that I see how I could reuse some of this ingredient I liked so much, in something which is meaningful and satisfying and fulfilling for me, um, I'm not going to stop working on pro similar projects in the future. It's really my goal to continue to do things like that in a way or another, maybe once a year. That's the long-term goal to little by little continue to work on similar projects and hopefully uh, little by little people who will be interested in that will come. That's, that's the goal and it takes time and years to make the right person come to appreciate what you do. So for any artist, any poet, writers, painters, it's all the same. It takes time, <laughs> even in this magical internet world. So thank you very much for those who appreciated it and your comments are precious. And here it's one of the two landscapes for the Chateau de Grignon that I have done. I need to add more details. I'm going to add them because I need them for part three also, so I will add uh, even more details in both of the paintings. So it's painting and pastels, and I'm really happy because for this project, I really took the time to play and experiment with pastels, and I mix them now for all my background, half pastel, half paint. For the moment, I click, but I'm going to change little by little and use other other paints which are not necessarily acrylic. I'm going to keep my paintings once I'm finished with this series, so probably I would think that it's going to be probably at the end of the winter. And I'm going to frame them and keep them and maybe add them above my um, fireplace mirror in the living room, I'm thinking of that. Or but some, somewhere in the living room, I think. I like landscapes and I want to have this Chateau de Grignon somewhere. After all, it took me a lot of time to do that, so I can at least have the reward to have them on my wall. So um, I will see which one I, if I keep them both or if I, for sure I will have this one because I like full colors and I'm going to amplify a bit all that and have more details all around. And I keep them flexible for now because I need them to be flexible for my for the purpose of filming, but afterwards they will be nicely on a hard, background and um, cardboard are nicely framed. Thank you very much for watching this little update in this vlog. I hope you are enjoying these beautiful colors outside. If you are in the northern hemisphere and you have orange, red and festival of colors to, to enjoy when you are walking in nature, this, this is really, really beautiful right now. I'm going to make the most of this week, especially because it just doesn't last very long. And I hope to see you very soon. And don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss all the nice videos coming.